Yes, McCarthy has spoken up uh, uh, up uh, in support of Trump. Yes, Marjorie Taylor Greene has done the same thing. But you're seeing a, a bit of a break in the in the unity of the Republican Party behind Trump. They're not all coming out and supporting him. You're not seeing anything. You're not hearing anything from Mitch McConnell. He's he's um, you know he had that fall, um, but mm -hmm. he's not speaking out through through anybody. Um, Mike Pence is not speaking out. Mike Pence is not speaking out. Well, first let me say I'm I'm taken aback at the idea of indicting a former president of the United States um, at a, at a time when there's a crime wave in New York City. That the fact that the Manhattan DA thinks uh, that uh, indicting President Trump is his top priority, I think, is just tells you everything you need to know about the radical left in this country. That it just feels like a politically charged prosecution. That it just feels like a politically charged prosecution. No shit. Um, Mike Pence is not speaking out. For one, one slight correction to what you said in an interview that's going to be broadcast um, <laughs> later this morning, former Vice President Pence does come to um, Donald Trump's defense talking about politically motivated investigations and then some um, in, in uh, an interview that will be shown later today. You're, you're dumb. Your information is out of date. Fake, disgusting news. <laughs> MSNBC has a very high standard of what is factual. You have to go through a process before you report things on air to make sure they are factual and you have sources.